हाई चिल्ड्रेन गुड मॉर्निंग हावर यू चिल्ड्रेन मई होप ऑल आर फाइन आई एम ऑल्सो फाइन चिल्ड्रेन थैंक यू चिल्ड्रेन इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी लैंड लेसन नेम इज वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड फोर्थ क्लास ई वी एस इन दिस सेशन वी आर रेडी टू लैन लेसन नेम इज द लाइफ स्टाइल्स ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड बायोडाइवर्सिटी चिल्ड्रेन what is a meant by lifestyle the way in which a person or group lives known as lifestyle children let us go to the topic human beings live in families therefore they are called social animals for our various needs we are dependent on each other we gather food to eat clothes to wear houses to live in and vehicles to travel children what about the animals children think once how do they live what do they do for their living children do you know what is the lifestyle of animals children look at the picture on the screen elephants in the forest live in herds there may be 10 or 12 elephants in each herd along with their babies children what do you mean by herd a large group of animals that live together known as herd similarly we use flock or colony words also in the place of herd female elephants are more in number male elephants leave the herd at the age of 15 usually an old female elephant lead the herd she starts her journey in the morning with the trumpet others follow her the journey halts where rich vegetation is seen all feed on the leaves and tender branches by afternoon they enter a nearly water sources swim in the water the babies are taught to swim they play splashing with their trunk this way of living is group of endure the production of their baby elephants food searching and the defense from the enemies children that's about the elephant's lifestyle we all know how our pets live children do you know how the wild animals live what do they eat where do they live what do they do children discuss about this with your friends and ask your elders children watch the national geography channel the discovery channel on tv then discuss with your friends in your group and write small note about the discussion children do you know tigers are perfect in hunting the cubs do not know how to hunt they learn hunting by observing the adult tigers the cubs play in the group and learn many things children you have learnt about the life of some animals but where do birds live what do they do do you know about them do birds also live in groups 
Did you ever see a flock of birds flying in the sky? Which season do they fly in? Children, look at the picture on the screen. Birds and animals live in groups. In a group, they remain protected from enemies. Young ones observe the adults and learning hunting, escaping from the enemies, searching for food and locating water sources and etc. etc. Birds also fly in flocks in search of food. They have the capacity to travel thousands of kilometers in search of food and shelter. Agriculture fields and gardens are main sources of food. Some birds eat insects, fish and other small living organisms in water. For this, they go to nearby lakes, ponds, canals, rivers, reservoirs, etc. etc. They do so in groups. Children, do you know? The former president of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, used to observe the flying birds at the sea coast every day. He used to wonder how they could fly. This observation helped him a lot in his future researches and experiments on rockets. Observing, acquiring knowledge, setting goals and working hard towards the goal made him a great man. Children, let us know the topic is birds and their nests. All the creatures require shelter to live in. They need shelters to protect themselves from the sun, cold and rain. We see various birds around us. Children, think once. Where do these birds live? Children, look at the picture on the screen. Or in the nest just as beautiful as the bird. We build houses, so do birds. Children, think once. How do birds build nests? What do they use for it? Children, discuss with your friends. Children, look at the nest picture on the screen. The tailor bird is busy waving its nest. How beautifully has it made its nest? By piercing the edges of large leaves and see together with plant fibers. Children, it's not easy to weave a nest. It's very difficult. Birds build their nest with great skill. Birds use straws, twings, threads, thin wires, paper, jute, cloth, leaves, etc. etc. to build their nests. Birds are different, so are their nests. The male tailor bird waves the nest and the female lays eggs in it. Birds build nests during egg laying season. Once the young ones develop wings, they leave the nest and fly off. They build the new and lay eggs in it. They wear nests continuously. Some children try to disturb birds and spoil their nests and eggs. We feel bad 
if someone damage our house children don't words feel the same never hurt eggs and damage nests children do you know dr salim ali a famous anthologist of indian has researched and write a lot on birds his work is recognized and renowned globally he received many awards children it is our responsibility to protect birds the number of birds is reducing with the cutting down of trees spraying fertilizers on the crops the recent studies say that radiation from cell phone towers affects the population of sparrows children now we have to discuss about insect and their colonies wasps are of many types wasps build nests depending on the area they live in female wasps build the nest wasps live in groups children look at the picture on the screen there is a bee hive on tree's branch did you observe a bee hive how does the bee hive with many rooms look like how do they make honey each bee lives in one compartment thousands of bees live together in the hive that is why they are called social insects they collect honey from flowers when we disturb bee hives bees attack us they sting and inject a poisonous fluid into our body sometimes this may lead to death so children we should not go close to bee hives ants also live in groups of thousands though they are very small we can learn a lot from them children observe the ants picture on the screen ants are ideal social beings there is discipline and division of labor in the colonies the colony consists of queen ants male ants and the worker ants queen ants lay eggs production of eggs procuring food building and repairing the ants hill are the duties of worker ants they build the ant hill with mud they divide the hill into different compartments for different works they cut the food into pieces with their jaws while going away from the ant hill a few ants release a secretion which is give a specific smell this help the ants to follow their way to their colony when two ants come from the opposite direction they touch each other with their heads children hope you all have observed this children think once why they do so they pass information on food source and the root through this touch children do you know an ant can lift a weight 50 times more than its weight all insects including ants have six legs ants have two antennas like feelers on the head these are useful in finding the sources of food and passing the information to one another like ants honey bees also live in a colony there is a division of labor too children 
you have seen the wild animals like elephants tigers monkeys and birds live in groups similarly human beings also need to live together by sharing their work and discussing with each other and in times of troubles this increases bonding and affection and relationship animals also living thing like us we should not hurt them we should provide food and water to them we should identify their needs and help them every day children how do you feel when you find dogs cats cattle and other animals hungry children we should not tie them we should feed birds and animals we should take care of the animals and their young ones okay children uh, this is about lifestyles of animals and biodiversity lesson part 2 in next session we will learn about biodiversity topic and this lesson bits thank you children thank you very much